Hey guys, it's Chloe from Dublin Circus Project here. And I want to show you one of my favorite three ball tricks. The best thing about this trick is if you can't cascade like what I'm doing now, it's totally okay because you can still do this trick. You can do it in the middle of cascade or you can just practice doing it by itself. The trick looks like this. So it's just one ball high and then two ball high. And you can continuously do it. Really nice, easy trick. And you can do it once again without knowing the cascade. So it's really nice to practice if you're getting really frustrated trying to do this. I'm going to switch balls so it's easier to show you. So the first thing you need to do with this trick is figure out what hand is your strongest hand. If you can do the cascade, it's the hand you start the cascade with. So I'm right handed, so I have two balls in my right hand. Usually it's the hand you write with. So once you've figured out which hand you want to hold two balls in, what I want you to imagine is three giant lines. So one in front of you like this, one to the right, and then one to the left. This is where the balls are going to go. They never cross over. They're always up and down, straight up and straight down. When you have this idea in your head, drop down to one ball. First practice with your strongest or your dominant hand in the middle. So just throw the ball up and down. Make sure it's as straight as you can. Once you practice that for a while, try and practice with me the left side or the right side. So I'm going to practice the far right. So instead of going straight up in front of me, I'm going to go straight up the right side. And then my left. This is the movement you're going to be using for this trick. Now we need to work on the hard part. The hard part is just move, moving one hand in two places. So I'm right handed, so I will have two balls in my right hand. So my right hand's going to move from the right line to the middle line very quickly. My left hand's always going to stay here. Practice this. What I want you to do is once again, practice throwing it up in the air and back down. But I want you to practice maneuvering between the two. So moving from right to middle, right to middle. Ooh. It's good to practice with the ball in your hand so you're used to catching two balls in one hand. When you're really comfortable with this, now instead of throwing the same ball, so I was just throwing the pink ball, I want you to start throwing the other ball, the yellow ball. Remember, when you're throwing of two balls with one hand, the ball at the very top of your fingers is always first. So I like starting with the middle line and then moving to the right line. So what I'm going to do is throw pink ball here. And then when the pink ball is in the air, I'm going to move my hand and throw the yellow ball in the air. When the yellow ball's in the air, I'm going to come back to catch the pink ball. Throw that in the air. When that one's in the air, the yellow ball will be coming down so I can catch it. So practice just doing it with one hand for a little bit like this. Notice my hand isn't moving huge distance like that. Because if I do that, it's really hard to catch. So it's only small little movements. Oh, sorry, bad example. <laughs> only small little movements like that. Try and practice that for a while. Remember the balls never cross over. It's always straight lines. Once you finish that, you just need to add in the left hand. I like when I first started this trick, I like throwing the middle ball first. So we'll make the pink ball the first ball. I like throwing the middle ball first and then throwing the right and the left ball at the same time. So it looks like this ball's first and when it's coming down, the other two balls are up in the air. So try that pattern for now. There's so many different patterns you can try and practice with with this pattern. 
but I think the easiest one to start with is middle ball. And when the middle ball is coming down, throw the two right and the left ones. So it looks like this. Yeah. It's a really cool trick and there's multiple different things you can do with it. You get really, really good with it. You can start, for example, I'm throwing the two, the middle and the left ball at the same time and the right's the last one. Or you can even cross them over like this. Well, there's really endless amount of things you can do with this trick. All you have to practice is moving two hand, one hand to two different positions. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this trick and I'll see you soon.